My name is Mensa Enyonam from Togo. I'm here as a young African leader, a 2016 Mandela Washington Fellow on the UD campus. Some years ago, when people asked me about my profession, I proudly replied to them saying, I'm accountant and manager. In fact, that was my proud profession. Few years later, I became a volunteer on the Africa Mercy, learning from great surgeons such as Dr. Gary Parker, who after 13 years, 30 years now of free services to others worldwide, still humble, humble himself to everyone. I was questioning myself, for what good reason I should consider myself superior to anyone else in the name of less school education? Why does it come that we should not be equal? Of course, we could think about many reasons depending on who we are or our position. I would like to evoke one that I think is just destroying uh, relations and generate inequality, conflict between people, either in a small group or a higher level, level such as countries, continent between decision makers. One day, a palliative care patient with a, a, an ulcerous cancer I visited, I visited asked me, could you hear me? I quickly said yes, without realizing the communication, the communication language this my patient was using. For me, knowing these four words, could you hear me, make me answer, period. But in fact, she meant, am I still smelling that bad? My response, yes, then meant for her, Yes, you still smell bad, and people don't want to be with you. After my re response, she became so sad and shut herself down to people. She felt inferior, unequal to the rest of the world. Her belief of being under a curse increased. It was only after some time that I got to understand her language, her communication. If communication or language gives power, that means bad communication can make powerless. Bad communication can generate feelings of inferiority or superiority. I mean, I mean inequality. You may feel superior or inferior based on a communication issue. This is why sometimes a group of individual, religion, or country may feel better or superior to others. This is how inequality starts and equality disappears and conflict appears. I was invited to church by a community with disabilities two weeks ago. There, I got the privilege to experience for my first time a communication with a wonderful, inspiring lady, Miss Susie Cook. She's not only blind or deaf, but blind and deaf. I did admire this powerful lady who, despite her double disabilities, still can passionately and strongly communicate. I asked myself, how is it possible? And I come to this answer. 
She's using a universal language to communicate. That language that everyone, everywhere can understand, even without speaking words. Today, I'm no more the proud accountant, but I'm a passionate young leader trying to understand people and communicate with them by speaking not just my first language, Ewe or Mina, no French or English, but the universal language of love and peace. Where everywhere is equal. Today, I'm a humble young leader choosing, e choosing inequality, touching and impacting lives. Thank you.